All right, guys, a quick warning before I start the video. I cannot stress this enough. Do not do this. Um, do not do anything that I do in this video on your own hardware unless you know what you're doing and you're doing it in a safe environment like a virtual machine, for example. Um, if you do, I do not take responsibility for any type of damages that you may cause. Um, but yeah, this video is for educational purposes just to show you the effects of this type of malware. So yeah, I just want to get that out there uh, just to warn you guys. Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Windows 10 virtual machine versus the MEMS virus trojan. Um, I don't think it's a trojan. I think it's just like a computer worm or virus, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, I'm going to be making a Windows 10 virtual machine so we can test it out and see what kind of effects it causes to the machine just for fun, you know. Okay, now we just need to wait for the Windows 10 to set up. Um, this is on VirtualBox. Um, I don't need to pay for this because it's only a virtual machine. So yeah, we just need to wait for it to uh, like set up and then we can run the worm. Why is it taking so long? I'm a very impatient person if you couldn't tell. 2,000 years later. Oh my God, finally. Is finally ready. Okay, uh, so this is our Windows 10 virtual machine. Um, it, it's just a normal machine. As you can see, there's some stuff here that the manufacturer of the ISO file has um, downloaded to the operating system, but it's not important. We don't need it. Uh, so now I have to actually get the virus. Um, I'm going to do that off camera because I don't want to show you guys how you actually get this. I also should mention if you do figure it out, uh, do not run this file on your main computer and uh, I am not responsible for any damages that you may cause to your computer if you do run this, so do it at your own risk. Okay, we have the virus here. Um, it's a bad file. Uh, actually, I forgot I need to turn off the Windows Defender as well. Because uh, it will not work if we have the Windows Defender on, so... Yeah, I need to turn that off. I'm just going to turn everything off just because it doesn't really matter. It's not my main computer anyway. Uh, yep, yeah, that should be it. A uh, firewall. Don't need that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's run file. Um, okay. Run. Yes, we do. Okay, it's just a warning. Yes, I do want to run it. And uh, there we go. There's our warning message. Now, if we close this down, I'm going to put this in the recycle bin. Uh, you will notice in a couple of seconds, uh, the mouse will start moving on its own. Um, I'm going to cut out or speed up the parts where I'm not talking just so you guys aren't getting bored. Because this does take quite a while to like get to its full potential, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. It somehow changed my language. Not sure which language to, but okay. Uh, yeah. The cursor should be moving by itself, but it's not. This is me doing this. Um, I did it earlier when I was testing it out. But yeah, it'll start like opening stuff on my computer as well. Oh yeah, there we go. It's uh, you can see it a little bit there. The cursor is moving on its own, just like shaking around. I'm not doing that, I swear. And it's just opening random tabs now on the internet browser, <laughs> and it's giving us some error sounds. Thank you. 
<laughs> there we go. It's uh, inverting the desktop wallpaper, or the entire screen, should I say. And opening the device manager for some reason. Yeah, we're still using the computer. <laughs> as well. You can draw with this. And the virus appears to be Googling stuff as well. Facebook hacking tool. My goodness. You know, I'm wondering at what point should I stop this and shut down the machine? Uh, I think I'll leave it for a few more minutes yet.
<laughs> yep, there we go. We got an ion cap. So basically, this is the computer now. Uh, it will not boot into Windows 10 ever again. It'll just keep showing Nyan Cat whenever we try to uh, run the virtual machine. So yeah, that's uh, that's the MEMS virus for you. Uh, so just a warning again: never ever run this on your own computer. Don't send it to your friends. If you want to try it out for yourself, uh, do it on a virtual machine so you don't like harm your own computer. Uh, but of course, do it at your own risk. Uh, any damage is caused to your computer. I am not responsible for any of that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.